So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can boost your cell signal strength on your iPhone because it can happen a lot that you are simply not having a good connection. So let me show you a couple of different things you can do. And these are some things which people usually don't talk about. First of all is the case. If you have a thick case like I do, then it actually may stand in a way, believe it or not. Like this is not even the original case from Apple because those are made like in a way like from a material that should not like disrupt the signal or anything. But if you have like a third party random case or something, then it may actually happen that it just blocks the reception. Like on every iPhone, you can see the bands for the antenna. So you can see the antenna bands right there pretty much any iPhone like the iPhone 6s like has it really visible around this kind of stuff all, all the way around it and and things but you don't really see it on the iPhone 14 so at least just go ahead and try it out like try to take the case off to see if you have any better signal throughout the throughout the time so yeah as you can see you have a couple of different antenna bands right all right around the camera and at the side of the iphone so i'm not sure if you can see it but it's there another thing another tip i have for you because a lot of times uh, the iphone is searching for for the 5g connection and in many places it's just not available and this may cause some problems if you live in the middle of nowhere or somewhere where the signal is just doesn't like it isn't so strong so what you can do is to go to your uh, settings then go to the uh, cellular section and go to the the uh, cellular uh, options. So for me, I have the data roaming enabled and voice and data. You have 5G on, 5G auto. And if you want to like make the single signal strong and if you're okay with the LTE connection, I would advise you to go ahead and turn on the LTE instead of 5G so your iPhone doesn't constantly search for the better signal and that way it can actually make it better. And some people actually recommended this. So for some people, it definitely works. So I believe that it should work for you as well. I don't really have a problem with that. Okay, another thing which you could try out is, especially if you have something older like the iPhone 14, or for example, in my case, I have the iPhone 14 with an actual SIM card slot, which means that I have a physical SIM inside it. Anyways, if you have, uh, especially an older iPhone, or if you've been using your physical SIM card for a while now, what you can do is to go to your carrier and make them replace it. So you literally just want to take out the old SIM because it, of course, it just wears out throughout the time and it just gets worse the more you use it. So make sure that you actually keep the same phone number and everything, but just ask them to get a new physical SIM card so you can use it and it should shouldn't cost you anything so it should be a free service from your carrier so make sure to replace it to have like a better connection between your iPhone and the SIM card or to switch to eSIM altogether because your iPhone will definitely support eSIM at this point of time so go ahead and try to use eSIM as well it's just going to prevent the problem I've just talked about another thing which I would advise you to use is the Wi-Fi calling so in the phone section in the settings you have the Wi-Fi calling and you have like a quick explanation so it allows you to make and receive calls over Wi-Fi with your cellular network. So it means that it actually doesn't use the cell towers and stuff. It uses Wi-Fi, but it uses actual phone numbers. So it's not like internet phone call. It's it's actually a regular phone call, but it uses Wi-Fi for that. So in an area where your signal isn't that good, this can actually help a lot. And it can actually end up in a clear sound whenever you're on a phone call. So definitely have this enabled to at least see and try out for yourself if it works well for you or what's really going on to see how this applies to you. Another thing I would advise you to do is to turn off automatic network selection because this can mess a lot. So go to the uh, settings, then cellular, and you have the network selection. You shouldn't have it on automatic because it just kind of looks for the best signal and the best the closest tower. You may want to avoid that because uh, it's usually not the best idea. Just rather stick to the close tower that you have. Like you can switch in between uh, the carriers which are available to you. So just choose one, especially the one which you have the sim card from and yeah just stick with it don't have it don't turn it on to automatic because it can literally just switch to a different carrier a lot of times so yeah make sure to do that and hope the the effects are going to be visible and noticeable so this would be about it hope these tips will help you out of course for
for more content like this, make sure to subscribe to Fox Tech because I upload these videos a lot. And thanks all for watching. Also, check out the next video right here, which I think that is going to help you too. Thanks a lot again. See you guys in the future.